hey fellas and uh, and the two or three girls that watch the ladies war on the ice I have wanted this game from SBI oh since I was probably 17 or something like that I, I recall seeing it in SBI magazines and thinking wow that looks cool hell they look like lasers <clears throat> I wonder what it'd be like to have weapons with lasers I wonder if that's legit well <laughs> I finally found a copy uh, you know the box is dished and it's kind of in sad condition but the game inside is in great condition and it's a boxed uh, a boxed copy not a, not a not a bad copy which is nice and uh, look the time is 19. 91 <laughs> a future history <laughs> future history science fiction simulation game and here we are in 2016 how hilarious is that the battle for the seventh continent 1991 1992 well you were wrong boys so let's have a look at this bad boy just because it deserves it right i mean this is uh this is nostalgia stuff right here that's a pretty beefy little rule book whoops pardon me um they were clocking at 24 pages with the typical sbi in the back uh air war and antarctic antarctic style so lots of justification for why they're doing things how the war could have started stumbling into war what the forces might be long designer notes i think these are the designer notes here uh, which is kind of cool yes yeah, so situation briefing and uh this is trying to get you in the mode for the game, I guess. This is the, uh, the, the narrative behind the story, behind the, uh, behind the game. <clears throat> and then the designer notes. This was supposed to be a magazine game to go into s and and it ended up being a full boxed situation. Uh, a couple of pages of charts and tables, which I have a scanned copy of this game, so I'll uh, just print those out separately. And then really we're dealing with just 12 pages of rules. And there's some thematic ruling in here and dealing with some, obviously dealing with weather. I don't know if you can see that up with the sun. Uh, there's some scenarios in here. We've got lasers, freaking lasers. We have garrisons and droids and drones. Recon satellite detection. Uh, so I wonder if this is a metaphor for uh, some of the things they learnt about in their World War Three game development and decided to pop them into this sci-fi futuristic mode. Uh, because some of these things are available today, right? There's the uh, satellites and drone capabilities, uh, independently directed drones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I wonder if they were been peeking into the future maybe not supply combat pretty standard stuff it's all uh, stacking straight up there is there something different in here that I saw that I thought was interesting yeah so anti-armor anti-infantry strength anti-air strength and electronic warfare countermeasure strength so that's that's in the vein of the World War 3 style of games that were developed so interesting a funky map because, you know, it's the continent that we never really see. And here it is in all its glory except this upside down. I guess this is really annoying, right? It's meant to be played which way? You go, okay, opposite each other like this. So, USSR, US forces, and game turn track across the top there. Look, here's Little America. USSR victory track, supply track on the right here. Same for the US over here. So pretty open terrain. And, you know, obviously this is probably, what, 50 kilometers a hex or something. I haven't even read that bit. Do we need to see? Do you care? Does it say it anywhere? Game scale. 130 kilometers. Well, what do you know? Counters. Got to see the counters, right? Now, the counters are all taped into the box. So, oh, what the hell? We might as well get them out for you, right? We're going to do a shrink grip. Let's do it properly. Uh, these old 
Come on, buddy. Fine. It'll be like that. It doesn't matter if we get messed up. They're already a little messed up. Please come up gently. Let's see. I probably can't see any of that. But there you go. I know this is not very good quality video. But it's sunny and warm here. So I'm not about to move. That looks like a laser post, doesn't it? Isn't that cute? There's a dinky little aeroplane counter. What do we got here? Engineers. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Let's see if you can see that better. So anyway, I think this will be fun. Who knows what that is? Similar deal here. Migs and jets. Oh look, choppers. They'll work great up in the Antarctic. All right, there we go. Just thought I'd show that to you because I was very excited about it. It's a quick little look. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.